क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज इफ द जीरोज ऑफ द पोलिनोमियल एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन आर ए माइनस बी ए एंड ए प्लस बी वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए एंड बी सो द पोलिनोमियल इज द पोलिनोमियल पी एक्स इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस वन एंड द जीरोज आर ए माइनस बी ए एंड ए प्लस बी so we have to find the values of a and b so what reasoning can we use to solve this problem well let's make use of the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients so the sum of the zeros of the polynomial from the zeros themselves the sum should be equal to a minus b plus a plus a plus b so a minus b plus a plus a plus b so the minus b and plus b cancel out and this is equal to 3a so from the zeros the sum is 3a from the coefficients the sum should be equal to minus of the coefficient of x square by the coefficient of x cube so minus of minus 3 by 1 so 3 so 3a is equal to 3 which means that a is equal to 1 so we have found out one Uh, value uh, one of the variables value from the two variables which means that we can now write the three zeros as 1 minus b 1 and 1 plus b so i have just substituted instead of a i have substituted 1 so the three zeros of px are 1 minus b 1 and 1 plus b now let's make use of the fact uh, let let's make use of the relationship for the product so the product of the zeros from the zeros themselves the product should be equal to 1 minus b times 1 times 1 plus b so this is equal to 1 minus b square and from the coefficients the product of the zeros should be minus of the constant term by the coefficient of x cube so minus of 1 by 1 so that's minus 1 so 1 minus b square is equal to minus 1 which means that b square is equal to 2 and this means that b is equal to plus minus root 2 so which value should we choose should we choose plus root 2 or should we choose minus root 2 well both values of b work because for plus root 2 the three roots you will get the three zeros you will get are 1 minus b or 1 minus root 2 1 and 1 plus b which is 1 plus root 2 if you choose b equal to minus root 2 then the three zeros you will get are 1 minus b which in this case will be 1 plus root 2 1 and then 1 plus b which in this case will be 1 minus root 2 so both values of b work because they give you the same set of zeros so the answer to this problem is that a is equal to 1 and b is equal to plus minus root 2 and that completes our solution to this problem to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers